It may not have the best customer relations, but Ryanair is a great Irish-British-European success story. During the referendum, the former Chancellor, along with some old adversaries, warned a vote to leave could damage the company's presence here, and the flamboyant airline boss agreed. Now the company has announced none of its 50 new planes will be based in the UK, because nobody knows where Britain now fits into the European airline regulation. It's a mess. Um, and we look forward to seeing how the UK government works its way through that over the next couple of years, since it's clear they haven't a clue uh, what they're looking for either. So what is her plan for Brexit? Well, the Prime Minister faced MPs for the first time today since the summer break. Her answer? Just be patient. This is about getting the kind of deal that is ambitious and bold for Britain. It's not about the Norway model or the Swiss model or any other country's model. It's about developing our own British model. So we will not take decisions until we are ready. We will not reveal our hand prematurely. And we will not provide a running commentary on every twist and turn of the negotiation. Earlier, the leader of the SNP in the Commons had tried to push for just some detail. Does she want the United Kingdom to remain fully part of the European single market? Yes or no? Prime Minister. The right honourable gentleman doesn't seem to quite understand what what the vote on the 23rd of June was about. The United Kingdom will leave the European Union and we will build a new relationship with the European Union. That new relationship will will include control of the movement of people from the EU into the UK and it will include the right deal for trade in goods and services. For now, that's pretty much all we have. Like the rest of us, Parliament will have to wait for more.